Hello, Wisdom Seekers, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, you'll learn your tarot energy for the week ahead and discover a gemstone that can support you with that situation. This is an exercise in strengthening your intuition and learning how to use gemstones to support your everyday life challenges. It will also help you learn how to receive the tarot's guidance and use it to navigate life situations. For those new to the channel, welcome. I'm Shannon Marie. I'm a published author, certified gemologist, and a Reiki teacher. These videos are designed to help you learn more about gemstones and how to use them to improve the quality of your daily life. For those who haven't experienced one of these readings, gaze at the picture of the cards. Choose card A, B, or C. Then pause the video and comment your choice below. Allow your intuition to be your guide. See which card draws your eyes or attention. Then, when you comment with your card selection, you are accepting the message from your intuition and developing a stronger connection and trust in your own inner wisdom. Then, resume the video. You can use the links in the description box below to go straight to your card choice. I will describe the message of each card and provide a gemstone to support you with the energy of that card. Allow yourself to accept what resonates for you and release what doesn't. And just a note from past readings, these gemstones are chosen very intentionally. Each gemstone is unique, even though qualities may be similar to others. If you don't have this stone, rather than ask for a substitute, I advise that if you really feel called to this reading and stone, it's an opportunity to purchase it and add it to your crystal collection. The deck I'll be using today is the Nomad Soul Warrior Tarot alongside my standard tarot deck, the Lightseer's Tarot. At this time, take several moments, several deep breaths, and select your card. If you chose card A, your card of the week is the Lovers. This is a card that focuses primarily on relationships. This card indicates the importance of the lovers, family, friends, and partnerships in our lives. Developing your relationships and making wise decisions about the people in your life will be at the forefront. Take time to reflect on the people in your life and see if they still support you positively. Some friendships may be holding you back or draining your energy, you'll need to find a way to let those go. Consider also how you are functioning in your relationships and make sure that you are contributing positively. It's time to create your tribe and make sure that everyone provides support, light, and love to all. If you are still waiting on a love relationship, reflect on how open you are to accepting love. Is there any hesitation or barriers to allowing someone into your heart? This is also a time to consider how you are treating yourself. Are you your own best friend? If not, what is stopping you from accepting yourself as you are? This card is a reminder that we should also have love and compassion for ourselves as well. We cannot invite and nurture close relationships until we are content with our own being and maintaining good self-care. If the message of this card arises for you this week, the gemstone that can support you is rose quartz. It is the stone of unconditional love. It allows us to appreciate being close to others, receiving love, and extending heartfelt compassion to all. It works on dissolving any walls we've built up around our hearts. If you're feeling cool towards others, find it difficult to allow people to be close, or trying to avoid the suffering in the world around you, then Rose Quartz will open up your heart and give you the strength, courage, and desire to give and receive love. Sit with Rose Quartz to explore your relationships, to see how you can nurture them and how you can embrace them even more. If you chose card B, your card of the week is the High Priestess. And the theme of this card is inner wisdom. This is a card of spirituality, psychic abilities, intuition, and mystery. 
This card indicates that it is important to delve into your inner world this week. This is card number two and emphasizes the dualities in life. Things are not what they seem, and you probably sense that already. There is more to what you are experiencing than is clear right now. You'll have to look deeper and access your intuition waiting to support you. Quiet, stillness, and introspection will help you discover what is truly going on. Is there a challenging situation in your life right now? or a choice you are struggling with? Before making any decisions or taking action, sit and contemplate the issue. Ask your intuition to provide guidance or to reveal information you are missing. This will help you take wise action for the best outcome in this situation. Meditation, self-reflection, journaling, and deepening your knowledge of spirituality will be very important at this time. If working with your intuition and your intuitive abilities is new to you, this is the time to explore and to connect with your sense of intuition. Sit in quiet stillness and extend the invitation for guidance from your inner wisdom. There are many resources that can help you access and hear your intuition and develop certain intuitive abilities. Find out what interests you, what you seem to connect with. It is vital that you learn to listen, acknowledge, and trust your intuitive guidance. If you are experienced in working with your intuitive abilities, the message is that you'll need to rely on them heavily to navigate this time period. There are hidden issues, and this will be the only way to uncover the root of it, to see how you truly feel about it. And you may also be providing support and guidance to others who are learning to work with their intuitive abilities. The energy is ripe for expanding your spiritual footprint in your community. If the energy of this card is arising for you right now, the gemstone that can support you is Iolite. And this is a stone of intuition. When used with spiritual practice, Iolite can be used to develop deeper states of meditation, reflection, inner wisdom, intuitive insights, peace and oneness with humanity, balance within. This stone helps us access and utilize our inner wisdom and intuition. When used with meditation, self-reflection, and journaling, Iolite can be used to access the truth we know within. Sit with Iolite to strengthen your sense of intuition and to help uncover inner wisdom. If you chose card C, your card of the week is the star. The message of the star card is hope. This card follows the death, devil, and tower cards. A lot of captivity, change, and transformation. The star is the light shining in the dark. This light provides hope and assurance through all this change. This card indicates you are near the end of challenging times and to hold on. The star can indicate many types of life events. Possibly your dark night of the soul is coming to an end. That hard times and challenges will finally finish and you will start experiencing positive events and emotions. It could mean that healing will be happening after a traumatic event. This card could mean that you are finally going to discover your life purpose after ages of wandering and searching. The star could mean that the long-standing wish you have been making is finally going to come true. If you have been feeling down and on the verge of giving up, the star wants you to hold on and look to the light. Let the star guide you just a little bit longer because it will all be turning around very soon. If the message of this card is arising for you right now, the gemstone that can support you is orange calcite. This is a stone of optimism and hope. It acts as a shining beacon when you feel like giving up. It encourages you to hang on because positive events are imminent. The energy of the universe, you know, the stars, are supporting you and situations will start turning your way. 
you will begin to feel better, more optimistic and energetic, and luck will be on your side. Sit with orange calcite to recognize that any challenge that you've been going through right now will be ending. It will be coming to a close and your life will start looking up. Thank you so much for sitting with me this week to explore what energy may be arising for you this week and which gemstone can help you. If you've been watching these videos and you enjoy them, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you'll get an email as soon as a new video is released. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you again soon.